How to Day Trade for a Living by Andrew Aziz. This book begins by talking about how day trading is actually one of the hardest professions out there. It's explained that since you make so much money doing this correctly, that it would have to be a hard job, just like it would be to be a doctor or a lawyer. He tells you how the learning curve to become a day trader is extremely steep, explaining that your first few months of trading, you'll actually lose money rather than make money and if you make the wrong mistakes, you'll actually wipe out your entire account completely. However, there are some perks to becoming a day trader. You can trade from wherever you are in the world. You don't have to trade every single day. Most of the day is free after you're done trading and you can almost control how much you make. He explains that day trading means you have to literally get in and out of positions within a few seconds using hotkeys and how a day trader never holds his position overnight. There are some perks to being a day trader compared to a traditional trader or an investor in the sense that since you are your own retail trader, you get to use a guerrilla warfare fair tactic. You get to get in in stocks and out of stocks as fast as possible, unlike institutions who have to slowly liquidate their shares at a time since they generally have hundreds of thousands to millions of shares in equity into a particular company. One of his main ideologies is to live to trade another day. You can't be emotional when trading. You have to completely look at this from an objective standpoint. And the most important thing when trading is risk management. You can be the best trader in the world, have the best strategies, but if you don't know how to manage your risk, you won't make it as a day trader. He then goes over how to find stocks, explaining those are stocks in play. He'll show you how to set up your scanners in order to find these stocks. Some of his criteria for finding these stocks is he wants stocks that are at least 1.5 times in volume trading that day compared to their normal volume day. If they have a catalyst moving the stock or if the stock is just moving with the market, he doesn't trade penny stocks and he doesn't trade stocks over $100 a share. Generally likes mid cap stocks or at least stocks between $10 and $100 and explains that you need to, and this is an absolute necessity, to join a trap chat room in order to make it as a day trader. It's impossible to do this alone. You need a community behind you since a little device called a black box that was actually used to combat day traders. And because of this, you're gonna need a community to make money past it. He'll guide you through which brokers to use and then explain how to read candlesticks. He'll show you a bullish candlestick, a bearish candlestick, an indecision candlestick, candlestick patterns, and what a doji candlestick is and how to read them. Later on, he'll teach you some strategies and explain that you do not trade more than 2% of your portfolio in a single trade. For example, if you have $100,000, you're not allowed to risk more than $2,000 on a single trade, reinforcing the idea that you need to live to trade another day. The strategies that he goes over in this book are the ABCD pattern, bull flag momentum, reversal trading, both top and bottom, moving average trend trading, VWAP trading, support or resistance trading, red to green trading, and opening range breakouts. He explains that you need to master at least one strategy to perfection and then build on to other strategies because once you've mastered one strategy and learned how to make money over and over and over again using that, you can then expand yourself in order to learn other strategies to have more tools in your toolbox. VWAP is one of the most important measurements out there. Book doesn't go over it too much, but he does explain that it is one of the most important things you need to learn. And in fact, to actually go out to another outside source or book and learn about this. There are also some good tips in here explaining that some of the most active hours in the market are within the first few hours. He then explains a typical day in the life of a day trader where he himself will wake up around 5.30 in the morning, go for a run, have some coffee, take a shower, have a small breakfast, and get warmed up and start trading. And how it's important to use a really fast computer and a really fast brokerage to execute these trades as fast as possible. And how he himself always has a backup keyboard and mouse just in case something goes wrong and he gets stuck in a trade and he can get out as soon as possible. It's important to have hotkeys ready 
so that way you can get in and out of these trades as quick as possible since day trading is a matter of making a decision in just a few seconds. Then explains how he has his own day trading journal and how you should log your trades every single day. Throughout the entire book, he mentions his website, Bear Bull Traders, and how this will be a great way to join his chat room, view his live trades, and learn in his community of traders. Towards the end of the book, he explains that this book will give you a great foundation to start learning more, but explains that you're gonna need to read other books in order to become a, a professional day trader. He explains that you're gonna need to practice on a simulator for a few months, and it'll give you all the websites you need and all the tools you really need in order for you to go and venture out on your own and find all this information in order to become a better trader. It will not be an easy task to become a day trader, but once you get past that learning curve, and perfect this skill it is truly one of the best professions out there so thank you guys for watching the video i hope you like it remember to like comment subscribe for more future content